All I gotta say is, it's about damn time. Wonder Woman is directed by Patty Jenkins and it stars Gal Gadot, Chris Pine, Connie Nielsen, Danny Houston, and Robin Wright. And it's the story of Diana Prince. She's living on Themyscira with all the other Amazons, living a peaceful life until a World War I pilot crashes onto their island and tells them about World War I. And Diana feels compelled to help with the conflict and off she goes to London to help in World War I. Now, I was optimistic for this movie. I've been looking forward to it, even though the last two movies that DC gave me were complete piles of garbage. But Wonder Woman gets something right that the other movies haven't gotten right yet so far, and that is tone. This movie has a perfect tone. This movie has life to it. It has color, it has humor. People actually smile for goodness sake. How many smiles did you see in Batman v Superman? Zero. It's just such a breath of fresh air from the other movies they've been doing lately that it makes me more hopeful for the other movies that they have on their slate. Probably the thing that this movie does best is it has a really great focus on character. You know all of the characters' feelings, all of their emotions, but it's not bashing you over the head with the characters' ideals and things like that. Besides one or two people, most of the characters are all really well developed and really well executed in the film. This movie is a perfect example of how to properly do a strong female character. Not with her telling you that's what she is, but with her showing you that's what she is. And that's exactly what happens in this movie. There's a scene when they're on the front lines of World War I and Wonder Woman sees that there are people in help and she's marching into no man's land to go help them out. You might have seen bits of this scene in the trailer. This is where they reveal her costume for the first time and she charges into battle and it's glorious. It's easily the big standout scene for the whole movie. Everything from the score to what Wonder Woman does to her actions, everything is incredible. And because I see her acting in a strong way, that's what helps me to get behind her, and I'm rooting for her and cheering for her the entire movie because I believe in what she believes in. She believes in what she believes in. And that's a huge credit to the direction by Patty Jenkins and the performance by Gal Gadot. All of the actors in this movie are giving it their all, especially Gal Gadot and Chris Pine. They both shine in this movie. Now, I knew that Chris Pine was going to be pretty great. I love him in almost everything that he's in. He always has such charisma and such charm, but I wasn't sure about Gal Gadot because we didn't see enough of her in Batman v Superman, so I didn't know really what to expect from her in this, but she knocks it out of the park. She gets the character, and she's... Yes! Ah! I don't even know how to describe it, but there's just something about her in the role that just feels right, and that really helps with selling the movie as a whole. It gets me excited to see her to continue to play the character in future movies. Another really great thing about this movie is the musical score is fantastic, especially the Wonder Woman theme that we first heard in Batman v Superman, now we hear it here again. It really helps to make the movie feel like you're watching something special, and you are. It's fantastic. I also want to mention the cinematography in the movie. The movie looks beautiful. Everything is shot in such a precise way. Normally in the movie there's one or two shots where I was like, I don't like that shot, I don't feel it really works. That's not the case in this movie. Every shot is beautiful, every shot makes sense. It's all working together with the rest of the movie in order to give you a movie that you can feel really good about having seen. My list of negatives is pretty small. First off, as usual, I didn't like the child actress who plays the young Diana. I thought she was a good actress, but I don't think she was a good match to be the young version of Gal Gadot. I don't think she really fit the character. This might be because I didn't like the actress, but I also thought that the opening of the movie was a little shaky and it took a while to get its footing and really get a running start. But once you get past those first five, 10 minutes, the movie runs full steam ahead and you're on board. And then lastly, some of the visual effects isn't quite up to snuff and some of the fight choreography is a little too over the top and too unbelievable. But other than that, not a lot wrong with this movie. I really enjoyed watching the movie. I can't wait to see a sequel. And I think it's so great that young women have a character like this to be able to look up to and to aspire to be. And I'm gonna say that Wonder Woman is top notch. Thanks for checking out my review. You can comment below. Let me know what you thought of the movie. You can let me know what you thought of this review. You can give me a subscription if you haven't done so already. And if you have nothing else to do, go watch more movies.